What's up everybody, Landon here with Late Model Restoration. If you've ever wondered what it takes to install cylinder heads and the needed accessories for your push rod based Mustang, you're in luck. Today we're going to show you what it takes to finish off your newly assembled short block or stock rebuild with a set of cylinder heads and the needed components. When it comes to cylinder heads, there is without a doubt many, many choices. From our in-house SVE heads to Trick Flow, Edelbrock, Ford Racing, and AFR, there are several choices to choose from to fit your build. Whatever cylinder head fits your needs, you'll want to pick up a set of high quality Ford Racing head gaskets as well. Since most new cylinder heads usually come assembled with valve springs and guide plates, you'll need to pick up a set of roller rocker arms. We offer roller rockers from popular brands such as Crane Cams, Trick Flow, and Proform. Finishing off the core valve train components are push rods and lifters. Hydraulic roller and flat tappet lifters will be available from Comp Cams and Ford Racing. Multiple push rod kits are available ranging from the stock length of 6 and 272 thousandths to 6 and 700 thousand inches. We also carry multiple push rod link checking tools to ensure you select the proper push rod for your application. Don't forget to top off your new cylinder heads with a set of valve covers and valve cover gaskets. We offer several valve covers to match whatever engine theme you're going for. Whatever valve cover you do choose, keep in mind to always check roller rocker and throttle linkage clearance. With taller valve covers, you may need to run an intake manifold spacer, which could then lead to hood clearancing issues. So always double and triple check before pulling the trigger on any valve train component. Some smaller items that will be needed, of course, will be head bolts or head studs, cylinder head plugs for any of you guys that have deleted the smog pump, and head bolt reducer bushings for anyone wanting to run ahead with half inch bolt holes. Follow along guys as we walk you through the steps on installing cylinder heads and the required parts onto your 302 or 351 short block or factory rebuild project. In this particular video, we used ARP hardware, Ford Racing, SVE, Trick Flow, and 50 Resto components to assemble this portion of our 302. Before you begin, it is in your best interest to have a clean working area and to clean all of your parts prior to install. Also, it is recommended that you assemble the front of your engine and the oil system prior to installing the cylinder head and its components. If you would like to see those videos, click one of the links in the video description. Before installation, it is ideal to have all of your parts laid out on a clean, well prepped surface. We also strongly recommend checking piston to valve clearance and push rod length prior to installing your cylinder heads. Since those subjects are super in depth, we set aside separate videos which can also be viewed by clicking the link in the video description. Thoroughly apply our soak to lifters and engine oil. Apply an engine assembly lube to the rollers on the lifters. Install the lifters into the engine block with the holes facing up and toward the center of the engine. Position the lifter retainers between the lifters and their marked orientation. These are also referred to as dog bones. Once all the lifter retainers are in place, position the lifter retainer plate on the engine block. Loosely tighten the included lock washer and bolts to secure the lifter retainer plate onto the engine block. Ensure the lifter retainers are centered and then torque the retainer plate to 120 inch pounds. Mark the harmonic balancer at the zero degree mark with a permanent marker or paint pin while the engine is at top dead center. Position the head gasket over the cylinder head dowels on the engine block. Apply a small amount of RTV behind the ear of the head gasket and on top where the cylinder head and lower intake manifold will mate together. Now it's time to prep the head bolts. Apply thread sealer to all the lower or shorter cylinder head bolts. Apply fastener or molly lube to the upper or taller cylinder head bolts. Since we are installing a set of our SVE heads onto this engine, we use TrickFlow's head bolt reducer bushings instead of the included ARP washers. This allows for use of 7 16 bolts into cylinder heads with a half inch bolt hole bore. You'll torque these bolts from the center out in three different stages. The first stage is 50 foot-pounds. The second stage is 60 foot-pounds. Followed by the third stage, which is 70 foot-pounds. Do the same for the other cylinder head. Apply engine assembly lube to the top of the valves and at the top of the lifters. Slide the push rods through the guide plates and then lube that area with fresh engine oil. Apply engine assembly lube to the rollers and the push rod cups on the rocker arm. With the engine at top dead center on cylinder number one, 
install both intake and exhaust rocker arms. Preload the lifter with about 3 eighths of a turn on the set screw. Rotate the crankshaft 90 degrees and do the same thing for cylinder number 3. You'll then keep rotating the crank 90 degrees until all the roller rockers have been installed. You will install each roller rocker in the same order as the engine's firing order, which is 1, 3, 7, 2, 6, 5, 4, 8. Apply fresh engine oil to any key areas that you may have missed. Now, apply blue Loctite to the valve cover studs and hand tighten them into the cylinder head. Wipe away any Loctite that may have run out of the cylinder head. Position the valve cover gasket and valve cover. Install the washers and then the nuts. Torque the nuts to 15 foot-pounds working from the center out. Hand tighten the oil fill cap, double and triple check everything, and that completes the installation of the cylinder head and valve train components. If you guys want to see more in-depth videos for your pushrod Mustang, then subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the link in the video description. Don't forget, pick up all your needed valve train components from LateModelRestoration.com.